Hello, everyone, and welcome to our employee spotlight. I'm here with our, our new network security analyst, Sean Bolton. Sean, thanks so much for being here, and thanks for coming to work here. I really, <laughs> really appreciate it. I really appreciate it as well. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, first question, tell me about your family. So <laughs> I am uh, one. Remember, we were trying to keep this under 10. Yeah, I'm one, <laughs> of, one of nine. Um, so I have four brothers, four sisters. And as I have, I have sisters, all of them are all of us. Really awesome family. Um, yeah. Um, we're locals to the port, uh -huh. uh, but grew up going to uh, Michigan City schools and stuff like that. So uh -huh. I have a portion of my family is in IT. We uh -huh. have a brother who works in uh, security for Horizon Bank. Yeah. And, uh, the, a lot of the rest of my family all work for a family business, so uh, beach check guards up here in Michigan City. It's so, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very cool. Yeah. So I think you you may be the uh, person that I know personally that has the most of it. So, <laughs> I, I hear that quite a bit. I, yeah. The only time I've ever heard different was um, where I used to work. Uh, yeah. I had somebody who had like 13. Wow. So I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, what do you like to do when you're not working? So uh, I'm a I'm a big fan of video games. Uh -huh. um, I, I really enjoy. Uh, I have a lot of friends that are overseas and stuff like that. So yeah. I really enjoy playing games with them and being able yeah. to have a blast with that. And uh, um, a lot of people I used to work with too. We we have a nice gaming community. Sure. And stuff. Yeah. So, what's uh, What's your favorite game at the moment? At the moment, we're playing a game called Tribes of Midgard, and okay. it's a what's called a rogue life. So like. If you die in the game, then you like lose everything. Okay. Sort of thing. Uh, and then you have to start from like the beginning and fresh again. Uh, but it's one of those ones where you have to survive for so long and then you know try to get out before okay. <laughs> before yeah, things get bad, and then you win more and more okay. the more you do it. But yeah, I love that. Game. Cool. It's really, really fun. Cool. Um, tell me about your most interesting job. So my my most interesting job, I would have to say, would be. Uh, working at Laporte Hospital, uh -huh. um, just in totality of, of like all three years that I spent there, it's, there's just so many different situations, sure. so many different things that yeah. happen there, and it's like, and I'd have to say like, yeah. the most interesting thing. I'm yeah, for sure. Yeah. You were involved when they moved to a new hospital too, yeah. so that was been pretty interesting. Wow. Yeah, I spent uh, many a day working 12-hour shifts yeah. trying to get everybody up and ready yeah. and everything operational, especially amid all the uh, um, the COVID stuff. Yeah, that was, right. yeah, that, yeah. Was, uh, that was quite a trip. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was your professional path for working at Cuba? So uh, I started working for the family business. Uh -huh. um, I was a uh, salesperson and slash uh, um, you take care of the plants, sure. everything like that, watering and loading up stuff for people. Right. Um, I went from that to working at Walmart, to which I had uh, I was a cashier, then customer service, and then uh, electronics, and then department manager. So right. I traveled all throughout that. Right. Uh, and then uh, for the last three years, I worked for uh, Laporte Hospital, which is now Northwest Health Report. Yeah. And uh, now I'm here. Yeah, and I know while you were uh, getting a college degree as well. Yes, yeah. yeah. Uh, I had uh, initially, when I got out of high school, I started into college and then I decided to take a break for a bit to right. start, you know, just focus on the, my career. And then I, after a while, I was like, you know what, I want to get back in. Yeah. Uh, which now I've just applied for my graduate degree. So, like, actually, graduation. Yeah. So, I think it's awesome. my. Fall or December, I'll actually have my yeah. associates in the house awesome. administration. Yeah. So absolutely, that's great. Um, what's your favorite thing about working at Cuba? Um, the camaraderie. Nice. Uh, it's very uh, everyone here is very very like intertwined and nice to each other. And, uh, like if you have an issue, everybody works together to help yeah. you out. And I, I really really enjoy that. Yeah. That communication of being able to just turn around in our group and be like, "Hey, I'm having an issue with this." And, us being able to troubleshoot that. That's, yeah. I really love that. That's, that's pretty special. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty um, okay, last question. What do you like most about living in Northwest Indiana? Uh, it's it's a mix between two things. I really enjoy the the nature around mm -hmm. here because yeah. there's so many places we can go to um, go on walks. There's so many places like beaches and lakes, all right. that stuff that we can go do, canoeing, all that. That's, that's really, really nice. But, uh, 
um, as someone who I mean, I worked a lot of beer events and stuff like yeah, that from time right. to time. Yes. I like to pour beer for people, um, just some people in general. Yeah. There's such a hodgepodge of melting pot of people here of sure. all different yeah. types that it's yeah. just yeah. so interesting hearing everybody's yeah. stories. So. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing a little bit about yeah. yourself and thanks for working here. I mean, you've been a pleasure to be around. Sure. So, <laughs> looking forward to lots of good stuff together. So thanks everybody for watching. Thank you.